Um, so I had to do a part two because um, it ran out. But anyway, uh, you know, I just wanted to say do not compromise. Do not lower your guard godly standards do not feel like you have to conform to this world to be accepted because we're called to be set apart and god want us to be a light and you can't be a light trying to blend in with darkness okay um now and i'll be honest um and there's no judgment to anybody but a lot of times i see a lot of it, videos on my um in my feed because i don't really look at people's channels like that um but and it's like, God is going to do this and God is going to do this. And I know some people are genuine, but most people are just trying to get views and followers. I don't care about that. <laughs> I don't care about that. Um, and I'm, I'm usually like, well, okay, well, we got to do all, you know, God going to do all this for us, but he not a genie. What are we going to do for him? Cause we was for, created for his glory, not us for, for, you know, him for ours. He wasn't created. Matter of fact, we were created. And so, and I don't want you to think with this dream that, oh, Rhonda is so e eager to, these are evil, evil men. No, God will have pagans to bless you. He will have the wicked to bless you. You know, um, it said when a man, man's ways please the Lord, he makes his enemies be at peace with him. Okay. Um, and the men in this, the dream that I mentioned in the first video they had already stated, they, they told me, they say, we know you won't accept this. And I wasn't, I didn't care. I was like, God was going to provide in the dream, but in the dream, God allowed me to know that it was from him and that he had touched the man's heart to give it to me. And like, listen, these were evil men, wealthy, wealthy. That's, that's the impression I got in the dream. Like these, listen, they, you can, they got, they probably had beds of money. But because I did not fold or bend and I remained faithful to God in my trying times, you know, God was setting me up to be blessed that they already knew my name before I even got to where I was going. And the other part of the dream is when I actually got there, they had, they were, they had told the truth. There was no room, um, in the place that God had sent me to. And so I was treated like a queen because I honored the king. So obedience un unlocks the promises of God. A lot of time we be having our hand out, you know, and yes, God is good to the just as well as, un as the unjust y'all, but um, who you think gonna come out on top? Those that are obeying God, like Abraham and walking in faith, like our matriarchs and patriarchs, don't lower your standards.